And we're back. The Hawks facing elimination, minus the suspended DeJounte Murray and his 25 points a night, went into Boston Tuesday night and forced a game six back in Atlanta. Raise your hand if you saw that coming. I'll wait. Uh -huh. you, you lied, Jim. No, I saw it. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, sure you did. Let's look I at the highlights it. as we go to TD Garden. I was so I was so sure, Ernest. I called yeah, it. you were just positive. Uh, Jason Tatum and the Celtics up 3-1 and trying to close it out at home. Oh, Trey. F. Young. You could tell coming out the Celtics were just kind of playing with no end and they were just playing basketball. Hawks won the first quarter for the first time in this series. And that, then that, Jalen Brown. That's a perfect example of that stat right there, Ernie. Jalen Brown had 23 points in the first half. Yes. They had a 17 to 5 run. I thought that the Celtics played too much one on one basketball. I was just getting ready to say that, Chuck. Yep. You know, they were playing one on one basketball. They did not just flow the game. Everybody was looking for that master closeout. Yep. Trey. Tough shot. Ah. And the bounce. But they're down eight at the half. 66 58, Boston. Jalen Brown again. They're up by 10. No, Ray over Sam Hauser. How many times we got to say you can't let one man beat you? This time, Hauser oh, uh, with the block. Uh, Celtics I... back the other way. And Jason Tatum with the finish. Boston led by 10 going to the fourth. As I Jalen Brown out of the time. corner. You just play around with NBA teams. They got players too. They would lead by 13 with 6-10 to play. Should be over, right, Arnie? Yeah, except, except Atlanta said, look, we got a 15-2 to two run in us. Well, oh, give me something big, John. John, John Collins had 22. Uh, John Pookham, big dog. Trey. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, great. My goodness. Oh, my gosh. Some knees on Horford. Yeah, some knees. I don't know what kind of defense this is. Hey, you gotta, you gotta come up high. Yeah. That capped the run and tied the game at 111. Oh. Horford, no, but Robert Williams' offensive rebound and put back. They're up by two. And here come one of the dumbest plays you're going to. Uh, no, this the technical. That's not a technical. Technical on Jason Tatum. Come on, that's not good. Yeah, that's not and the Hawks on, would oh. take the lead at the free throw line. Yeah, did call. that on the They're road. They're up 114-113, and time stands oh. still. The wedgie with 30 seconds to go in the game. So you jump it up. And Robert Williams is going to go to the jump. But what are the Hawks doing? They're just watching this. But this is to play. This, to me, is to play of the game right here. This is just dumb. At midcourt, the foul. Well, well, on Marcus Smart with Boston up one. But well, why did they show Jalen Brown lips? That's funny. Why he foul right there? <laughs> That's hilarious. 116-115. Derek White gets fouled by Young. He would make his first trip to the line of the night. Oh, yeah, but you look at he was eight out of nine Just for the, the series look before the these. And look at, look at this. He ain't going to touch nothing. And the Celtics have the lead back 117 116. What's Quinn Snyder drawn up? Oh, you know who gets the ball? One four flat. Let my guy oh, don't work. Shoot that, don't shoot that. Oh, good shot. Let him work. Unbelievable. Trey Young with a 38 point night. Oh. Last gasp for the Celtics at home. And Trey Young and the Hawks heading back to Atlanta for a. Uh, Thursday's game. Oh uh, yeah, but now a three. We should do the three. Studio. We should do a three-two series. The studio, right from the well, you get one nine, one get nineteen, one seventeen. Uh, I'll get. I'll let you make your point in one second, Chuckster. Let's just hear some of the post-game yakety yak. What do you say? You good with that? Yes, sir. Good. I believe in him, and his teammates believe in him. And you know, I'll say it again: he believes in his teammates. You could tell. You know, you look in his eyes, and there was a calm. And sometimes that happens. You know, in the middle of a storm. Trey Young is pretty shifty getting to his right hand, so that's what I was looking to take away. And you know, he stepped back, and pulled one from the logo. It's a tough basket, tough shot in the playoffs. You know, maybe I could have forced him towards the basket a little bit more. You know, if I could have picked him up a little bit better. But maybe we shouldn't have been in that position in the first place. And then at that point, I looked up and it was only like three, four seconds left, maybe two. So 
it was uh, I just had to trust in what I've done my whole life and just shoot it with confidence. Fourth quarter time, close game. You know, I'm I'm sort of you know at this point being with Trey my whole career. You know, I know what time it is. Like it's, it's ice straight time. <laughs> um, and he does his thing. He's clutch. And he wants to be in those moments, and uh, he wants the big shot. So it's just sort of normal for me to see him go into that mode. I mean, I've been owning the moment my whole life. That's just what I do. I'm not not afraid of it. I've worked too hard to be afraid of the moment. He scored the last 14 Atlanta points. I'm convinced Shaq is not really a Hawks fan. He just likes doing the bird call. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> You're, you may be right. He does enjoy doing that. Uh-huh. Um, no, any man who puts that on is a Hawks First fan. of all, that's not that. That's made by my good friend, Big Eric. Those are real money wings. Get it? Uh-huh. <laughs> you gotta put the money wings on. Yo, thank you, Eric. Let me give you a few goodies from, uh, from this game, too. Um, Hawks now nine and five in games decided by two points or less. Celtics are two and six. Celtics were 54 and seven, taking a lead to the fourth quarter, but they lose this one, and now are faced with a game six yeah. in Atlanta on Thursday. Uh, I think that Jalen Brown said it. we shouldn't even been in that situation. You, if you disrespect the other team, but in a closeout game at home, you don't lose the first quarter. And then from that point on, because you can't, people think you, you guys said, well, are you going to put it, click it on and off? It doesn't work like that. Then they had to lead, and then Trey Young caught fire, and the rest is history. But Jalen Brown said it. They should have never been in that situation. You cannot disrespect. We talked about it, um, the Lakers game two. They came out and disrespected the Grizzlies, didn't match their energy, Paid for then it. tried to turn it on. You cannot do that. I was sure that because of how well the Celtics played last year and them getting to the big dance and coming up short on, and the way they played all year with the controversy at the beginning of the year, I was sure that they, they were going to come out eager to put this team away so they can get to the next round. It, it showed from, from tip-off they, they just played it like a regular game. You know, even though they were the superior team, they, they acted like that. And then, like Charles said, they disrespected the Hawks. And you can't let one guy beat you. You got to know it. You got to know in a game like this, their best player is going to try to go off. And that's exactly what Trey did. Underdog points out, and, and this is going back a ways, underdog. First time the Celtics have lost a home playoff game when they led by 10 going to the fourth quarter. First time in the long history of the Celtics. Are you serious? Yeah. Ever? Yeah. That's crazy. Well, that yeah, is crazy. it is. Um, and Trey, the first Hawk with three straight 30-point games in, a, in the postseason since... Dominic Lou Wilkins? Lou Hudson. Lou Hudson. Oh, it's going back to 1970. 70, and, yeah. and, and now uh, there's some intrigue surrounding this game on Thursday. I mean, they've made the adjustment, but uh, as... as uh, Chris Haynes tweeted out, uh, State Farm Arena will host game six of Hawks and Celtics, moving Janet Jackson's concert to Friday. Both events were previously scheduled on the same day. Janet Jackson's here Wednesday and Thursday at State Farm. So the Thursday show is now on Friday. That's why I said Janet Jackson's upset. Janet you know, Jackson? You know, you know what else is going on on Friday? What's that? Taylor Swift at at the Benz at the same time wow. Janet Jackson's at State Farm. Oh, wow. So, just a so, as, of information so I would recommend music. I would recommend not even going anywhere near downtown Atlanta on Friday. That's exactly unless right. Unless you got tickets to one of those things because it's going to be mayhem. Well, the, Thursday yeah. would be the day to go out, though, wouldn't it? Well, to the Hawks game, but yeah. don't go Friday. Don't go yes. down there Friday. If you're looking for something to do, Chuck Sterney, just stay in your hotel. Well, you know, me and the brother are going to go see Janet. You go see <laughs> the Swifties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to either one of them, man. I'll be in Brazelton. Ha, 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 ha.